Hello everyone, I'm here to prepare a very quick review about this set um, of transformers from Korea. This is an oversized G1 Deathstrong robot, basically it's G1 Bruticus. This is the second version of this set that uh, has been issued in Korea in the early 90s from Dong Young Toys and uh, it is different from the first version that came in uh, uh, in a gift set and in three different boxes the second edition came out only in three boxes each box contained onslaught then single and vortex then brawl and blast off and here we have a, a view of the content of the three boxes it's difficult to explain the feeling that you have looking at these toys. The quality is amazing. And as you can see, inside the box, you can find all the accessories that uh, the toys have in their regular G1 version from Takara Asbro. The difference is that some of the accessories, like the shield or the fists, or the uh, feet are chromed but the level of details is incredible here is a size comparison between a G1 onslaught as you can see is this one and this oversized Bruticus onslaught the Decepticon symbol is a little bit different is not the same as the authentic one the color is I will say more anime accurate and the quality is really the same if not better than the original okay an example this is the onslaught uh, weapon look at this detail it is missing in the original G1 version of the toy. Another example, the cannon here has two holes. In the original one, there is plastic inside, there is no holes here. And here we have the shield. Let's speak a bit about the shield because I think this version of the toy is, uh, let's say, showing some feature that the original concept had. As we can see in the lower part, there are holes to place some wheels and transform this shield in a kind of futuristic starship. Let's have a look. Okay, here we have the wheels, and here we have the wheels mounted on the, sh on the shield, so it's ready to become a starship. Here we go, we have a vehicle now. Now it's time to transform Oslaut in a launcher base. The transformation is almost done, look at the ramp, it's big as much as the original G1 as loud is incredible and this is the basis transformant it has also the shooting spring launcher mechanism that it makes sense with the idea of giving wheels to the shield if you move the shield a bit the shield will go down to the ramp very easily it's not like the G1 toy that had this kind of function only for the vehicles here you can place the vehicles or even this spaceship let's start speaking about the vehicles so vortex i'm keeping the g1 onslaught in the background for size comparison vortex has all the uh, let's say features of the original g1 toy okay this one has to be switched with the, the part where the helica is rotating but as you can see the uh, the wheels the blades 
are moving the stickers are accurate G1 accurate some paint is missing compared with the G1 toy but for being a bootleg this is incredible it's very heavy the quality of the plastic is great and here we have a sindol the color is a little bit different than the G1 toy the front shield is a little bit loose in this toy but you can adjust it even here the stickers are very very close compared to the G1 here we have also a stamp here we have Brawl amazing model very solid Eevee super high detailed it's virtually the same of the G1 look at the level of details and here we have a blast off it's uh, transformers fake <laughs> stickers United States sticker NASA sticker Amazing. <laughs> and here is the vehicles configured for the battle. As you can see, they can carry all the weapons exactly as their G1 counterpart. So with the cannons, with the blasters, it's really amazing. The comparison with a G1 Onslaught is very evident look Brawl is even let's say overwhelming inside the G1 Onslaught Transforming them is a fantastic experience and uh, since they are a very high quality product the transformation is the same as their G1 original Takara Asbro counterpart so let's have a look they can uh, let's say hold the weapon exactly like the original one look at the details of the faces they are very detailed one and uh, vortex at the end and this is the G1 onslaught I want to place him near the others just to show you the comparison in size he look like a small uh, dwarf and now let's start transforming the toys uh, for the final combination in Bruticus okay so the process continues I uh, placed the fists feet the shield it is missing the head and of course I needed to assemble the toys please be uh, informed that this second uh, version of the toy has these chromed accessories the original first version has uh, let's say silver gray accessories very similar to the G1 toy okay guys here we go, we are very close to the end of the Bruticus, let's say, assembling. This is the head, look at the level of the details, the quality of this item. Let's place this here. Yes, okay. The mouth uh, plate is golden and here we have the fantastic Bruticus oversized Korean version let's use G1 Onslaught for comparison once again and here you can see how magnificent is this model
and here is the back of the toy So yeah guys, uh, my final thought about this toy is that I really recommend to everyone to find one. It's very hard to find nowadays, um, especially uh, in this, uh, let's say, brand new condition. Uh, would be good to, to think about maybe had some G1 sticker on the toys to make them even more um, Takara, Hasbro, accurate. Uh, but uh, my final recommendation is to handle this beauty uh, with care as uh, the value of this toy nowadays is uh, uh, remarkable and uh, <clears throat> the risk of breaks uh, is, um, is real exactly as the G1 counterpart so I hope you enjoyed this review I wish you all a good rest of your week have a great day, bye